Hello everyone and welcome back to Mars Horizon where we're currently working on a human in space mission and taking a look at our tech tree we're working on a satellite imaging mission possibility uh, which we would be able to launch but again we need money so that's interesting we've got a funding review coming in eight months I'm just going to proceed we discovered radiation belts would have thought that that would have been earlier, but we got some science. And on the next month, we started the International Geophysical Year. That was actually earlier. That was supposed to be 1957 to 1958. Complete the satellite imaging mission within three years of the current date. You will see 750,000 immediately and 750,000 of it. Well, of course. I don't see any problem with that at all. We should get this research lab expansion. Maybe that should be first since it has less cost. Um, yeah, let's switch to that instead. Mm, so, satellite imaging... Oh, we have to do more... Well, there's other research. We have to do this payload. Alright, alright. Yeah, we definitely need more research slots. Well, we got a lot of money now. Rival agency offers payload upgrade. China has offered your agency an advanced piece of software that will grant a 10% improvement to the payload reliability of Mercury in your human and space mission. Do I trust them? However, they will need access to some of your... We're way ahead. I mean, what, what do you mean some of my technology? Which technology? You see, you're not giving me details, Reject. <laughs> I, I want to know exactly what they want. I mean, come on. They've got a mission up there. What did they just send? They haven't even done animal in space. How are they improving my capsule anyway? Rival agency offers help. China now wants to share payload. No, I don't believe you. You haven't done anything. How could? Why would I want your technology? A okay, November nineteen sixty one documentary tour. A, a documentary crew has requested a tour of your astronaut training facilities. Security advisors have pointed out that other agencies might be able to learn about your program. Eh, we're open like the U.S. on that sort of thing. I think. Anyway, we're, we, we are ahead, as long as it's spread out and not just to one agency. A competing agency has gained some science. We gained a lot of support though, so that's good. We got a lot of public support. Soviet Union is launching human in space in eight months. Jeez, they've caught up. I wonder how. <laughs> okay, funding review. Well, we got a lot of support, so... Yep, we're on the next tier on the funding. Okay, vehicle complete. Uh, no issues. Launch preparations. Crew. Mira. Confirm. Well, I thought that. Okay, assign crew. There we go. Confirm. Training. Well, whatever training we can do. Launch date. Oh, oh, what are they launching there? I didn't think that the Soviets were that close. That's too much of a reliability penalty. Okay. That sucks. Suddenly, wow, they got a lot of science out of my little tour, huh? They haven't done an animal in space, though. Yeah, we're tied suddenly on this one. So that's a bit peculiar. I suspect the AI of cheating. <laughs> I suspect the AI of cheating. Is there any way we can fast complete this stuff? That would be nice. Let's go ahead and get the research lab. Don't want to fall behind. Oh well, the Soviets just launched something to the moon. Launching human in space next month. Well, so are we. I'm very concerned right now. Okay, optimal date. We had some training. 
Medium risk. Well, let's try it. It's raining. Is it raining in Russia too? Ah, well, actually Kazakhstan, right? Terrible conditions. 79% launch reliability. Mm. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Let's see what happens. This could be bad. I didn't set any rules. That's why we had a highly reliable launcher in the first place. It's going. It stopped. Wait, wait, wait. Is that bad? Oh no. Payload damage. Minus 10% payload reliability for the duration of the mission. Oh, okay. Could have been worse. That's hardly any benefit from the level up, but okay. But I guess we're pretty good already. It says achievement unlock SCE to Ox. Well, I guess technically if we had a payload problem, that makes sense. Achieve Earth Orbit. Okay. So we have to actually fulfill the mission here. We need four of the signal and six of the navigation. We have four turns. We've got four power. That'll get us immediately to four. Manual trajectory update. There's a person. And then we get a lot of navigation. Let's see. Hopefully she's well trained. Oh, that's bad. We can resist, though. Two! It takes two to resist? No, no, it's just one. Ah, it just barely squeaked it. Okay, and our pilot wor uh, worked out for us. Should show her a picture or something. Okay, accept. Okay, looking good so far. Let's recharge power, do a signal return test, and then get more trajectory update. And that signal return test worked wonderfully. Lots of signal. And lots of trajectory. Optimize the communication software. This command will generate an additional signal. Okay. Looking good. This may be a great success despite the flaws. Let's see. Two more turns. Um, let's get more power. Let's do the same thing we did last time. Uh, maybe she's well practiced at this. Uh... Not so good on that one. No, I'm gonna accept that. The trajectory update works. Okay, so we've got all the trajectory stuff. Last turn. All we need is two more signal. So we'll do that, get more power, and then do more of that. Okay, I think we've got it. Alright, little Mercury capsule. It, they should give us a test for re-entry. <laughs> just for... Just to be mean or something, you know. Did it burn up? No? Okay. Parachutes worked, apparently. Oh, they even have the little boats going out to... Okay, those look a little bit small, but it's okay. Okay, so we were first, because as long as we do it in the same month, uh, we get priority. 
and Mira has six months of recuperation. I guess we should hire somebody else. Kimura. Rika. But I want to look at their retirement dates. Start each task with plus one navigation. More science reward might be good. Shuji, Miyamoto Shuji. Well, let, yeah, let me just go with the one who is going to retire the latest. How about that? I mean, only working till you're 45? What's up with that? Okay, Miyamoto Suji. Congratulations. And more launch reliability for mission vehicle. That's nice. Problem solver. Man my random requirement per task is sort of random. I guess we should have a scientist. Um, I'd take Kimura Rika, just because I like the name, but um, that's not a long time till retirement. I guess we do pay up for the longer lasting ones, though. I don't see why we're paying 12,000 salary for Mira Suji who only produces 10% science reward and retires in 1982, whereas Matsumoto Hitomi retires in 1981 and only takes 8,000 for the same reward. So I'll take Matsumoto Hitomi, uh, the scientist. So now we've got a scientist as well. Okay, so we've got those. We should be able to build the satellite imaging mission now. And we're working on that research lab expansion. Plan. This is our payload, apparently. Oh, nope, I wanted that. Payload rating is pretty low. Can we get a higher... Payload... No. This one has increased build cost and increased power, but that's fine. Well, I mean, we do have money. We might as well ensure a success. Yeah. Because we, we got paid a lot for this one. At least it doesn't take longer to build, I don't think. Anything to do with the moon that we can do? There's some requests. Moon micrometeorites. Lunar radiation. You know, that could be important. It's just another heat tin probe. I don't want anything with reduced payload reliability, so let's just go with this one. So we've got two missions being built, and I think that's our limit. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's uh, it's got no mission slots available. All right. Successful human and space mission. Your advisors have suggested public offer publicly offering to share your payload technology with China. Why is it always China? China hates us. We hate China. Can we do something with somebody else? I mean, it's always China. We we'll gain science. No. <laughs> um. Yeah. Let's see how they do next month. I'm surprised they're doing it that soon. Mm. The Soviet Union actually succeeded at oh so. Uh, okay. Anyway, next month. Oh, I have to set research. Okay. Um. Then I want maybe the research lab expansion. Let's see. I guess two mission slots are alright. Let's get some more research slots. Yeah. Race to Space 1. I got public support. And Lunar Radiation is a go. Two hundred kilogram payload. I don't store my rockets for some reason. And that's a 200... 
Pilgrim upper stage, a uh, capable upper stage. Yep, able. Not called able for nothing. Algal able. 88% launch reliability. Okay. Shh, five months though, but all right. Honestly, we sent a person to space. I mean, I'm pretty good, but they are catching up the other folks. So, yeah, by complete. <laughs> uh, that's a funny name. Observation satellite. So we need a thousand five hundred capable, and the Delta stage can handle that. So we're basically going to use a Delta rocket. We got paid a lot again, so it's okay. We don't need boosters. Kokuhaku. Well, let's just go Kohaku since it's that season. Uh, though it really should be painted red and white like that, though. Okay. Eight month build time, though. Again, at least they paid us. NASA was fourth on human to space. Okay, setting research. So we got that research lab expansion done pretty quickly. Alright, I want more mission control stuff. PR we're doing pretty good on, I thought, but we'll see. And then the vehicle... Actually, you know, vehicle build time might be more important right now. But it'll take longer, so let's just do the mission control first. 18 months to complete the mission. Yeah, we should be good on that. Well, we got more public support, but we didn't reach the next tier. ESA is already launching the satellite imaging mission, but I think they've already... I, I was never going to be in the lead on that anyway. Okay, uncrewed mission. We can just toss the training thingamajiggy there. Um, let's try April. Race to the moon. Human on the moon. Well, I'll declare that win the race. I mean, obviously. Okay, we should work on that soon, though. We're gonna have to do a bunch of stuff. Crewed moon landing down here. 45 tons. That's right. That's, that's about right. Um... We need to unlock four of these and to get to those. But so that has a capacity of 120. That is 45 and it has a mass of 120 tons. I was informed about this that we can actually launch the moon mission on a Saturn 1B. Now in Kerbal <laughs> in Kerbal, I have launched a moon mission on a Saturn 1B with boosters, not alone, but Technically, the San one b is definitely too small on its own without any help, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, the problem is that they've uh, the whole system is based on only having two stages, an upper stage and a booster. Whereas, of course, the Saturn V, the whole point is that it has three stages, this, this, and that, but there's no functionality that allows for combining those anyway so once we get uh we we can already do more than one research right we should be able to let's see we don't have anything that can do inner planets right now right so we just need something that can do inner planets which one makes most sense the delta k has all this capacity that like I've previously said, the Centaur C and Delta K should probably be exchanged in this case. Um, our best booster has a capacity of 1.8 tons only, though. Oh no, uh, sorry, 6.6 .6 tons. So, 
that's doable right now on a Delta, which is amusing. And that's also... Uh, wait. That is not doable on a Delta. Nor is this. So, we could immediately use the Centaur C. And it doesn't have much build time. In fact, uh, it has less build time than the Delta. Build cost is expensive though, which seems legit, yeah. Actually, this Titan 2 alone doesn't have the capacity for a Delta upper stage or an Agena. Uh, it has the capacity for an Agena upper stage, but not a Delta K. No, oh, that's funny. Um, Titan, uh, but that's an upper stage for Titan 2. But that's what's important. So there's the booster for Titan 2, upper stage for Titan 2. But I could just do Centaur C. But it says change research. I thought we could do more than one now. It allows construction of a... Oh, wait. Oh, maybe... I, I guess I didn't understand what that was. That's a... Uh... I guess we just get more research. Well, more research can make things go faster. Let's see, base, build, research lab expansion. Requirements not met. Well, I have to build a research building. <laughs> wow, I've been negligent about building stuff, huh? Well, that says plus plus there. So, okay. So that's being built. Okay, lunar radiation experiment. Okay. Ambitious, it says. And it's raining again. We need a better launch site. Uh, we'll reschedule. It's, it's a little bit weird that I, uh, I'll be rescheduling this one, but we've got time. Okay, launch mission. We should now be super reliable. It's not that bad. It's bad, but it's not that bad. We'll continue. 91% launch reliability. Okay, we managed it. Secure launch. Booster's top level, the Algol. Abel is also doing well. Translunar injection. Okay. Well, let's, um,. Get some navigation, I guess. I mean, that seems like a good deal, isn't it? We can parlay some signal return for... Uh, if we have the navigation, we can get some more data out of it. But first we have to have navigation. So why don't we just do that and recharge a bit first. That's good. Very good. Little control burns. I mean, of course, translunar injection shouldn't be hard, hard. Okay. We've got two turns remaining. We can... I guess we'll get some signal so that we can do this triple one. And get some extra power. That's good. 
signal return test is fine, that would have hampered our next bit, so... Ah, oh, trajectory optimization did not work. But we can resist. Yes? Yes. So we just need one more navigation. Oh, we might as well get some more data, actually. Oh, we'll have two tries on the navigation. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. That worked. Okay. Task complete. We have achieved lunar orbit. But we've got more things to do. We've got the radiation stuff. Okay, we need lots and lots of signal. Um, we can get two data for one of these, one power. And we can use one data, let's see, and then each data we get a whole bunch out of. So why don't we just get a lot of data? <laughs> Here, uh, let's get the data two tries, and then parlay that into that telemetry transfer. See if that works out for us. Okay. That one was very good. And telemetry transfer worked as well. Well, that didn't seem too bad. I don't want to use up the comms, so we'll just uh, do two more of these. And one more of those. I don't even need the navigation necessarily. Okay, visual data collection worked. And more visual data collection really worked. And telemetry transfer worked. Everything is proceeding according to plan. Okay, we just need some more... ...comms. I'm gonna get some power, so we can resist. And then we'll do the antenna alignment, and that should take care of it. Um... Eh, we might as well... Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Okay, that worked. Okay. We have the bonus. Okay, we got some science. Venus Impactor and Mars Flyby. Oh gosh, we're really falling behind. All because we can't do as much science. Hmm. We really... Uh, I should have built that research uh, lab a long time ago, I think. And we can't build that yet. Well. Alright, research lab is complete. Plan more concurrent missions. Yep. We need to do more of that. I've been lax today. Launch preparations. We went from being ahead to... I, I think we're pretty much behind now. We just barely got a human in space and then now we're falling behind. 
Um, science training, launch reliability training. We need more science. Let's do science training. They've already all done it. But we just have to do it in time for geophysical year. So... Okay, vehicles. We should get some more vehicles. Maybe I should just go with Titan here. It could give us more capabilities. But I don't really understand this. The mass of this... Okay, I guess we can use the Delta K and Agena instead of the Titan upper stage. Okay. <laughs> That's weird too. I, I was not expecting that. Normally these two would go on top of the Titan upper stage, you see. But of course that's not how anything works here. So let's just build a Titan rocket. Its build time is only four months, so it's about the same as a Delta. Do I need it? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, capacity 9 tons. Capacity 6.6. .6. This is, uh, I mean, if we put boosters on... Let's just get SRBs. That'll be enough to launch a Delta K to sub supplementary SRBs. So we could do that plus the Delta K and then we can do four tons to the inner planets. We can immediately do... Okay, what's the reliability? 75%. It's got the best reliability. The Centaur C is actually the cheapest. Okay, what's, uh, as far as the actual mission is going, Saki Gake, it's 800 kilograms. Okay. So, the Centaur C can do it. And it's cheap, and it's quick to build, but it's not very reliable. Delta K would be more reliable. But it'll take twice as much to build, and it's more expensive. But then the Delta Rock is going to be really expensive and take a while too, so... This has a capacity of 5.8 tons. So if we want to be really cheap about it, we could go Mu-3 and Centaur, which is, again, very interesting. Um, do we have boosters? I think it's better not to have boosters. Agena is completely useless, isn't it? It's higher mass. Worse reliability, though it levels up better. If we have two supplementary boosters on a Delta rocket, we can launch a Delta K. Which would make me happy. At least that is a combination that makes sense. Uh, let's do the boosters first. Okay, and I would like to build research lab expansion. Okay, and we got that done. Let's do the Delta K. Okay, that research was complete. Now we can pick two more. I suppose we could pick the Titan too. Just for kicks. I don't see why though. <laughs> Maybe the Centaur C for something cheap. If we're in a hurry. We need four, so... I suppose we have an extra research slot. Nope, we can only research one thing at a time, indeed. Oh, I guess one thing, instead of going for the Centaur C, maybe we should research the missions. You know what? I'm going to land on the moon. I don't care about these little planets. I said I would land on the moon first. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go down this line. 
It says 0 out of 2. We have to do both Orbital EVA and Nozomi. Is that right? So we have to do both, huh? That's interesting. In order to do a crude moon landing. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. We get more contracts. Well, we could score the first. We could go the Soviet Union route and do... Well, I mean, they did those too. They did everything. It's nice being able to do concurrent research. Okay. The base. We can build another research lab expansion. Uh, but it won't let me move things. Well, I think we should be next to the research lab. Satellite imaging. Lots of science. It's because they did satellite imaging first. It boosted their science so much that they caught up. That's good conditions. Okay, ice falling off and launching. What are our conditions? Oh, oh, very good, very good. Good times. Plus one data on first task. Well, that wasn't the greatest bonus, but all right. That's a heck of a satellite. We have to kick, collect three different things here. Complicated. Well, let's collect that data. And then... We'll use one data to get the navigation and knock that out. And we can resist if necessary. Ah, uh, signal return test was failure. Well, I'm gonna resist that. Shoot. I'm in a hurry. Ah! Even the visual spectral spectrum sampling? Somebody's interfering with us, I think. Well, that at least worked. Orbital realignment. Okay. Alright. Turn one was not without its hazards. Let's recharge power. And... I'm gonna just get more data. Okay, well at least we got the comms. Yeah, visual spectrum sampling not working out great, but I'll resist. Because we can easily parlay that. Well, we've got the six that we need there, but we can go ahead and get extra with the ground control connection. And I want some more power. And then maybe more data. Uh, you know what? More power would be better. For now. Alright, ground control connection worked. Last turn. Okay. So what I want to do is nail the data and signal return test to make sure we get the bonus on the on the comms and then recharge power so that we can resist one if it fails. But if both fail then we're gonna be in more trouble. Well, one failed. 
well, we're re we will resist this one, and if we can't manage the other one, then that's just how it is. That one worked. We're, we've got the bonus. Okay. Mini game successful. Okay, fifth for satellite imaging. This is the like the first time I was fifth at something, and I don't like that. Okay, but we fulfilled our requirements for the geophysical year thing, right? So we got money, did we? Not sure. I didn't say. Mission control expansion. One more additional mission slot. It's unhappy in other places, or the places it's happy... Oh, that's good, actually. I was looking for a place that would be cheap to place it. That slot is okay. Well, we're still working on our multi-crew orbit mission. We should do other missions. Yeah, we got first place in everything but satellite imaging. At least for the Earth stuff. Life support test. That seems important. Lucrative, it says. Get a lot of money. But I want science, actually. Atmospheric... Astronaut recovery test. Oh, uh... Joint mission. Alright. I mean, if we get a lot of science... If we're building everything, how is it a joint mission, though? Moon requests. Far side of the moon. That's money. Moon micrometeorites gets us science. I'm gonna go for the science, but actually we do need money eventually. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be spending some on these missions. Alright, the heat 10 probe has worked out very well for us. We haven't really gotten the stuff, the research to do anything else. We're strictly Earth-Moon right now, which is sort of sad. Okay, but at this point, I think I'll wrap up the episode. We have gotten the first human in space, but we have lagged behind in certain other areas, so it's now a little bit more troubling, mainly because I think we didn't build those research lab expansions. So, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.